KPRC 2 Plus. Have you ever wondered why you cannot manage the same account on many popular apps or why subscriptions and fees are sometimes higher while purchasing through an app rather than on a website? Well, one reason could be the app tax. Mm -hmm. Joining us this morning to talk about it is Rick Van Meter from the Coalition for App Fairness. Rick, good morning. How are you doing? Doing well. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for being here. Uh, I think uh, Lisa and I were both looking at each other like the app tax. Yeah. We, we know there's a ton what? of taxes, but which one is this and what's the story? Well, this is really a hidden fee that is imposed by uh, Apple and Google uh, through the, the App Store and the Google Play Store, respectively. Um, that most people don't realize that they're paying uh, when you subscribe to digital services like music streaming apps or a dating app or making purchases within a game. Uh, many of those purchases are, are subject to a fee of up to 30%. So uh, this is a fee that uh, and, a, and a real cost to people and families uh, that many don't realize that they're paying. So how do you get around this or what's the fix here? Uh, what needs to be done to fix the app marketplace? Uh, well, there's a lot of things. Uh, first of all, I would just recommend to your viewers that um, they they be good consumers. So, you know, this is a, a time of high inflation, and um, you know, folks really need to make sure that they're getting the best price for the services that they want. So, one way around this is to check on a website uh, from the developer um, for the service that you want and. It's very convenient to just click subscribe on an app, but many times you can avoid this fee if you just simply uh, subscribe to the service on a, on a website, um, on a desktop or laptop computer, not on your smartphone or tablet. Um, another thing that really needs to happen to fix the, the app marketplace is for Congress to pass a bill called the Open App Markets Act. It's a very bipartisan uh, Bill, uh, your Senator Ted Cruz actually was among 20 Republicans and Democrats that voted to advance this bill in the Senate Judiciary Committee. It has a lot of momentum and uh, this would really address many of the, the challenges in the app marketplace, would help bring down prices and uh, create new innovation for, for consumers. Is this, is this like the crux of what we've heard, fighting between an app store and a developer over who's making money from what? Are these fees part of that like argument or? It's, it's somewhat related to that. Yes, there are there are various law, lawsuits going on between developers and these companies. Uh, but really what we're seeing is that antitrust laws need to be updated. And, and that's why we're supporting uh, this bill in Congress. Uh, again, you know, really what we're asking for, we're not saying what the fee should be or not be, um, but really there should be con competition and there should be transparency. And I think when you have that in the digital marketplace, just like in any industry, it will help bring down prices uh, and create uh, better quality products for consumers. So uh, competition and transparency will, will go a long way to creating a better digital marketplace for app users. It sounds like this proposal you're uh, describing has bipartisan support. Who do you anticipate is going to fight you guys on this? Well, uh, obviously, uh, Apple and Google don't like this proposal because they they would prefer to um, not have any competition in this market and to be able to continue to impose this 30% fee uh, on developers that is ultimately paid by consumers. But again, this bill has very broad bipartisan support. We did some polling recently. We found that around 80% of um, voters support the bill and they would think better of their representatives in Congress if they support it. Uh, so we have very conservative members uh, of the Senate, including again, Ted Cruz. We also have very uh, liberal and progressive members um, like Amy Klobuchar and Richard, Richard Blumenthal who support this bill. So um, this is very broad bipartisan support and we're hoping it can get done even in a very uh, partisan time in Washington. All right, Rick Van Meter from the Coalition of App for App Fairness. Rick, thanks for your time today. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much.